This is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a functionality proof video for Samsung Power Supply Board BN44-00776A out of which I just got a bunch of components that have failed and the board was totally dead and the main fuse was blown as usual when the main fuse is blown um, don't replace it there's usually a very good reason for that and in this case it was those guys and a bunch of smaller ones that i already threw out those will go in the basket as well and uh this is just to show a few notes and this is true for most samsung led boards and the first and foremost thing that you need to know is that this is 99.9 percent .9 reliable not 100 percent reliable because it is not being tested in a live set meaning that there is no load to the output voltages of all the secondary side circuits and in 0.1% of the time or in 1% of the time, it doesn't matter really, uh, the board may misbehave when you actually load it for practical purposes though it is definitely not worth testing every single board in a live set unless there is a well-known tendency to develop such a problem instead with Samsung power supply board for LED TVs when the board is connected like this and there is nothing else it is not again 100% of, for 100% of all boards but for the huge majority of Samsung LED power supply boards that I've seen uh, this is true it really is a matter of design and what is true is that when there is nothing connected to the board no control, nothing whatsoever and only AC is supplied the board is fully turned on all the output voltages that the board is supposed to be generating are there and for example you can see here it says that on uh, this jumper it's supposed to have when in standby uh, 8 volts and and when it's on it should be about 13 volts that's what it says on 13 volts standby 8 volts and one thing that we can do uh, is to just see what we have here and it has about 13 volts because the board is on when there is nothing connected to it this is pretty much uh, it can also be found here on this connector uh, per, per this legend I'm gonna test them the top row I believe is where the 13 volts are but those are the same 13 volts so there's really no point getting there yep on the top row there is A13, A13, A13 and uh, for the record 12.8 is, is pretty much 13 as long as it's stable don't worry if, it, if, if it's 13 or 13.1 or 12.9 as long as it's holding on stable that's gonna be fine so that's one of the major voltages that comes out of this transformer and this is for the main board and this is being lowered down for uh, the processor to 3.3 to 1.8 for the memories etc etc but the other major voltage that goes out of this board is the voltage for the backlight for the lamps and it is always going to be here and as long as there is no load it's going to be at the highest possible remember LEDs are being driven with a constant current driver so when there is no load the constant current driver most of the time again depends on design will be positioning itself at the high end because it senses no resistance and it just pushes the voltage as high as possible in order to get that resistance some drivers will turn off and uh, you may see it pulsing or it may actually be turning off most of the time and just probing occasionally or like rarely so rarely that you may not even be able to catch it on a dmm but those are exceptions what we can do is just try and see if we have some high voltage at the output as you can see 300 volts we have in one of the circuits i don't know if there are one or two i think there are two from the look of it uh two led circuits for this tv somewhere here along those tables it should be saying what the output voltage is supposed to be uh, I don't really see it but it uh, that's the one okay so it tells that it's supposed to be holding 220 volts for at uh, 400 milliamps 
and that is the optimal value that it's supposed to do when there is no loads in order to get again those uh, this current it's trying to get as high as it can and of course there's nobody there so this board has been restored it's going to be functioning and uh, i just wanted to see how we tested and how the customer knows thank you